prayer for the 2022 national and local elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism, Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth, Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud, Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective, Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language, Deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm, Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal, Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time, Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority, Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored, Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development, Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office, Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, Politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. We are gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins, and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord, Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May your unfailing compassion, O Lord, cleanse and protect your church. And since without you she cannot stand secure, she be always governed by your grace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the second book of Kings. Naaman, the army commander of the king of Aram, was highly esteemed and respected by his master, for through him the Lord had brought victory to Aram. But valiant as he was, the man was a leper. Now the Arameans had captured in a raid on the land of Israel a little girl who became the servant of Naaman's wife. If only my master would present himself to the prophet in Samaria, she said to her mistress, he would cure him of his leprosy. Naaman went and told his lord, 
just what the slave girl from the land of Israel had said. Go, said the king of Aram. I will send along a letter to the king of Israel. So Naaman set out, taking along ten silver talents, six thousand gold pieces, and ten festal garments. To the king of Israel he brought the letter, which read, With this letter I am sending my servant Naaman to you, that you may cure him of his leprosy. When he read the letter, the king of Israel tore his garments and exclaimed, Am I a god with power over life and death, that this man should send someone to me to be cured of leprosy? Take note, you can see he is only looking for a quarrel with me. When Elisha the man of God had heard that the king of Israel had torn his garments, he sent word to the king, Why have you torn your garments? Let him come to me and find out that there is a prophet in Israel. Naaman came with his horses and chariots and stopped at the door of Elisha's house. The prophet sent him the message, Go and wash seven times in the Jordan, and your flesh will heal, and you will be clean. But Naaman went away angry, saying, I thought that he would surely come out and stand there to invoke the Lord his God, and would move his hand over the spot, and thus cure the leprosy. Are not the rivers of Damascus, the Abana, and the Farpar better than all the waters of Israel? Could I not wash in them and be cleansed? With this, he turned about in anger and left. But his servants came up and reasoned with him. My father, they said, if the prophet had told you to do something extraordinary, would you have not done it? All the more now, since he said to you, Wash and be clean, should you do it as he said. So Naaman went down and plunged into the Jordan seven times at the word of the man of God. His flesh became again like the flesh of a little child, and he was clean. He returned with his whole retinue to the man of God. On his arrival, he stood before him and said, Now I know that there is no God in all the earth except in Israel. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A thirst is my soul for the living God. When shall I go and behold the face of God? A thirst is my soul for the living God. When sh I shall I go and behold the face of God? As the hind longs for the running waters, so my soul longs for you, O God. A thirst is my soul for the living God. When I shall go and behold the face of God? A thirst is my soul for God, the living God. When shall I go and behold the face of God? A thirst is my soul for the living God, when I shall go and behold the face of God. Send forth your light and your fidelity. They shall lead me on and bring me to your holy mountain, to your dwelling place. A thirst is my soul for the living God, when I shall go and behold the face of God. Then will I go into the altar of God, the God of my gladness and joy. Then will I give you thanks upon the harp, O God, my God. A thirst is my soul for the living God, when I shall go and behold the face of God. Please stand. Ang pag-ibig na matakot 
Diyos upang kami ng pagkukulis. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the people in the synagogue at Nazareth, Amen, I say to you, no prophet is accepted in his own native place. Indeed, I tell you, there were many widows in Israel in the days of Elijah, when the sky was closed for three and a half years, and a severe famine spread over the entire land. It was to none of these that Elijah was sent but only to a widow in Zarephath, in the land of Sidon. Again, there were many lepers in Israel during the time of Elisha the prophet, yet not one of them was cleansed, but only Naaman the Syrian. When the people in the synagogue heard this, they were all filled with fury. They rose up, drove him out of the town, and led him to the broad of the hill on which their town had been built to hurl him down headlong but he passed through the midst of them and went away my dear brothers and sisters the good news of our salvation praise to you lord jesus christ please be seated magandang umaga po sa atin lahat Siguro po lahat tayo ay nakaranas na kung papaano magkasakit. Lahat tayo ay nagkasakit na in one way or the other, maybe two weeks ago, a month ago, or a year ago. And usually, kapag ang sakit natin ay medyo lumala ng konti, we go to a doctor. Minsan sa isang espesyalista na tututok sa particular na ailment meron tayo. And we would be advised by doctors, for example, kung meron tayong high blood o high cholesterol, anong sasabihin ng doktor? Umiwas po na sa matatabang pagkain. O kung ang nagkukos ng ating high blood ay maaalat na pagkain, huwag munang kumain ng maalat na pagkain, magbawas ng mga junk food, for example. Minsan naman, kapag diabetic, syempre, sasabihin, wag mo nang mag soft drinks. No? Pilitin mo nang tanggalin yung mga bagay na nagkukos o nag trigger pa ng ating sakit. Pero alam naman ho natin na mahirap din itong gawin Kaya ang iba, patuloy pa rin ang pagkain ng mga bawal. Sabi nga nila, masarap kasi ang bawal. Tapos, ang argument pa ng iba, okay lang yan. May gamot naman ni eh. no? Sa ganitong klaseng kapilosopuhan, no? totoo nga ang sinabi ni Hippocrates, no? ang isa sa mga Griegong philosopher na nagsabi patungkol sa mga doktor, no? Ang sabi niya no for the doctors no Kapag may lumapit sa inyo no to be healed no as a doctor ang sabi niya tanungin niyo muna yung pasyente kung willing ba siyang i-give up yung bagay na yon na nagko ng kaniyang sakit If someone is to come to you for healing Ask him first if he is willing to give up that which makes him sick to begin with. Why am I telling you this, my dear brothers and sisters? In our readings today, it talks about healing. In our first reading, we've heard of how Naaman, the army commander, somehow had leprosy. And he was advised to go to Elisha para magpagaling. 
he is a reputed army, so parang meron siyang sense of entitlement, sense of dapat akong gumaling. Pero ang advice sa kanya na Elisha, maligo ka doon sa ilog. At doon, malilinis ka. Nagalit siya, bata maliligo dyan. Pwede naman ako maligo doon sa amin, sa, sa, sa lugar namin at mas malinis pa. There was this sense of pride. No? There was this sense of parang feeling entitlement that humility was not in his vocabulary. And so cleansing was not possible because the number one prerequisite is humility. Pagpapakum baba, kababaan ng loob. Same goes in our gospel reading wherein Jesus was instructing his kababayan what was wrong with them. No? Pero ang sabi ni Jesus, no prophet is accepted in his own land. Ano bang ginagawa ng propeta? Nagsasabi ng totoo. Nagsasabi ng pawang katotohanan lamang. And sometimes, truth hurts. And sometimes, ayaw nating tanggapin ng katotohanan. And we continue to live as how we want to be. Kaya anong nangyayari? Walang healing na nangyayari. Walang paggaling na nangyayari. In these 40 days, my dear brothers and sisters, in our Lenten journey, all of us wants a form of healing. Healing from what? From sinfulness. Healing from what? From our old ways of life. No? So that we may be closer to God. Pero bakit parang ang hirap? Bakit sobrang effort? Ah, dahil siguro hindi pa natin nag-give up yung pinakabagay na yun na dahilan kung bakit tayo nagkakasakit. Ano yun? Kasalanan. Ano yun? Kabalikuan ng pag-iisip. Ano yun? Self-entitlement. Kagaya ni Naaman. Pero once nung na-realize niya na kailangan lang niyang sumunod. Pero ang unang requirement ay pagpapakumbaba. Magkakaroon ng kalinisan. In his case, kalinisan from leprosy. And when he was cleaned already, he was healed. Same goes with our situation. We all go to Jesus to be healed, especially in the sacrament of confession. Is it not? We want to be healed. No? To be reconciled again, not just towards God, but also towards our neighbor, especially our families. No? But maybe we can apply the saying of this doctor, just like Jesus is a doctor. No? Are you willing to give up that which makes you sick to begin with? Magandang tanungin natin ngayon, ngayong kwaresma, ano ba ang nagiging dahilan kung bakit ako may sakit? Kung may high blood ka, syempre, fatty food. Kung may diabetes ka, syempre, kanin. E minsan kasi kanin is life, di ba? Kahit diabetic na. No? Pero sa buhay espiritual natin, no? it is good to ask ourselves, no? what is it, Lord, that makes me sick? Help me recognize it. Help me have the courage to admit it so that I may be able to be healed also and be cleansed.
this Lenten season. Amen. Please stand. Jesus was rejected by his own people. In faith, we accept him as our Lord and Savior, and we pray in his name. In every prayer we say, Lord, make us love as Jesus did. Lord, make us love as Jesus did. That the leaders of the church may proclaim the word of God with courage and live it with conviction. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make us love as Jesus did that Christian parents may be strengthened to follow Christ, who is the way and the truth and the life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make us love as Jesus did, that our Lenten penance may make us more open to God's redeeming love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make us love as Jesus did, that the sick who find life difficult may see God's presence through the care and concern of their families. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make us love as Jesus did. We pray for all who are sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19, and for those who care for them. May the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make us love as Jesus did that the dead who are in God's company may enjoy everlasting peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord make, make us, us love as, as Jesus, Jesus did. Almighty Father, since none of us come to Jesus unless you draw us to him, make us all one with him, and we may be with you now and forever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May what we offer you, Lord, in token of our service, be transformed by you into the sacrament of salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world and so hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and, and earth are, are full of your, of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in, in the, the highest. highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the true fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive, forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. us. And lead and us not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace lamb, lamb of god, god you, you take, take away the sins, sins of the world, the world. Have, have mercy, mercy on us. us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world grant us peace please kneel
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I'm not worthy, worthy that you should enter under, under my, my roof, roof, but only, but say, only the word, say the word, and my soul, and my soul shall, be shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May communion in the sacrament, we pray, O Lord, bring it purification and unity. That is your gift through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessings. May your right hand, we ask, O Lord, protect this people that makes entreaty to you. Graciously purify them and give them instruction that finding solace in this life, they may reach the good things to come through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Oh,